let's build a simple publisher node in ROS using Python. My name is Tiziano and if you're new to the channel, welcome! This is a series about ROS and especially ROS and Raspberry Pi. In this video, we're going to create a simple publisher node using Python and for that we're not going to use the Raspberry Pi, we're going to stick with our laptop. So enough with the talking, let's dive into the tutorial. In our Catkin workspace, let's create another package and we call it test publish subscribe. So we type catkin create package and we call it test publish subscribe and as a dependency we're going to have ROS PY and I don't know probably in the future we're going to do something in C++ so let's put even ROS C++ and here it is in our Catkin workspace source folder test publish subscribe we open it and you already have package um, CMX list and source in source, we're going to create our publisher. So let's open the editor. I'm using Atom. Okay, let's create a new file. We start a new file. This file has to be executable. So we need to put the hashtag exclamation mark. And we call it taskpublisher.py. We want to import ROS PY. And we're going to import the standard messages string. So we type from standard messages dot msg import string. And this is why. So let's go back to the terminal. Let's clear this up. Now, how can I get a standard message? If you remember, in order to go to uh, an installed package, you just need to write ROS CD and enable the package. So in our case, it is the standard messages. STD M tab and here it is standard messages if I hit enter I'm in the standard messages package let me list it and here I have CMake message and package let's go in the message folder CD MSG list and here are all the standard messages available so as you see, we have Boolean, Byte, Multi-Array, Header, Multi-Dimension, Multi-Array Dimension, String. But those files are just text files that specify the type of message that we want to use. And we're going to actually create in the future our custom message and we'll see how can we can do. But this time we're just going to use the string message. So let me open this string message, uh, nano string. The message is composed of one, only one field, data of type string. Let me close it. We go back to our editor. And so here, as you see, I imported from the standard messages packet, the folder message, I imported string. Okay, let's create a function, def publisher. We call def publisher. The first thing we could do is defining a pub object. So our publisher is a rospy.publisher. This method requires as a first argument the name of a topic. Now we have just to name the topic. Let's call it, I don't know, string publish. Then we want to have the type of the message and we have string. And here we have the QE sides. Q this is the size of the buffer for unread messages. And let's put, I don't know, 10 here. This is the most important line. This is a publisher. In the publisher, we have the name of the topic we want to publish into, the type of the message, and the size of our buffer. Then we want to, we want, let's say that we want to publish this string, you know, once every second. So we define rate as um, a ROS PY dot rate and here we put the rate we want to publish the message in Hertz let's say one Hertz now we build the message so the message to publish is of type string so let's say that we want to publish nothing more than a counter so let's initialize the counter equal to zero and then we create a while loop while 
rather than true, let's say while not rospy dot is shut down. That means uh, until ROS is running, first of all, we're going to create the string to publish is equal to something like a hey, I'm publishing. I'm publishing something the counter. Just the counter. So I'm publishing the counter and let's increase the counter of one. Now, this is a string I want to publish. Now we have to put this string into the message. This is pretty simple. As you remember, the string has only one field that is data. So the message to publish dot data. So the field data of the message to publish becomes the string to publish. And that's really it. Now we want to publish. So we write pub dot publish and what we're going to publish the message the message to publish now here let's add a print we're going to use log info so we type ross py dot log info this is more convenient because uh, the log is going to be uh, traced by ross itself and here we want to log the string so the string to publish not the message the string because the message is an object whose field data is the string to publish and then we want to just sleep so rate dot sleep uh, maybe sleep like that and that's really it now we just need to call this function so what happened when I call this script well I just initialize the node ross py dot init node and I just call him simple publisher and then I just want to call the function publisher then we go on our terminal clear so here the first thing we want to do is compiling our package let's go to our ross cd and then cd so now I'm in the Katkin workspace and now I'm going to type Katkin make this will compile all our packages and then I want to source devil setup.bash don't forget to source your environment and last I need to make that file executable so let me raw cd to my test publish subscribe source chmod plus x and then the name test publisher now for launching the test publisher the first thing i need to do is launching ross core because i'm not connected to the raspberry pi ross core is not running anywhere i need to run it locally so let me split the screen to parts and here on top i just want to run ross core Let me split this in two parts. ROS run. And then the name of the package. Test. And then the name of the file. Now this node is running and is publishing this counter. On another terminal on the right, let me just type ROS topic list. And as you see, I have the string publish as one of the topic that is currently being published. Now, if I just want to print this topic on the screen, if you remember, I just need to use ROS topic echo. So ROS topic echo and the name of a topic, string publish, enter. And here is the message in the topic string publish. Great, now we have a simple publisher node. Next time we're going to create the subscriber node. But for now, I thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.